name is Muhammad Ismail bin Hussein. I am turning 32 this November and currently I'm a full-time athlete. I heard these stories from my mom, so she, she was telling me that uh, when she first gave birth to me, everything was fine. So it actually happened uh, on our way back home. Uh, she was sitting at the back holding me in her arms. So when we reached home, it was raining. So the taxi driver tried to pass an umbrella. So it actually poked into my left eye. It doesn't seem serious during that point of time. The next day when I started to open my eyes, my eyes was rolling everywhere. Uh, and that's where my mom got worried and, and brought me to see the eye doctor. Hi, my name is Thomas. I'm 36. I am an IT executive. Most of the time I do computer stuff in my office. When I was 15, I went to do ophthalmology. But I realised my right eyes, I cannot see. So, the, the ophthalmology tell me to go to see eye specialist. That's where I got to know that I was diagnosed glaucoma. It's a eye disease whereby the water pressure will go up that damage the nerves between the eyeball and the brain. My name is Kelvin Tay. I was in the hospital in 12 years I was in 从十二楼掉下来，人就变成这样。我完全是background，就是，就是完全不知道发生任何什么事情，直到我在医院醒来的时候，他们才告诉我说我已经呃发生了意外，从十二楼掉下来。But没有任何的痛苦啊，我有问
And slowly, I told myself, okay, my next target will be 30, 50, 80, 100. I even reached 170 to 180 as these three years goes. Because this is what I set my target for. For me, uh, in bowling, the obstacles that I face, not being able to see the arrows and the dotted lines for my target, I always have this double vision when I try to really focus and, and follow the ball movement. So that really affects me a lot. Even for the little, little things, uh, walking up the stairs, uh, I have to use different perspective of walking up and walking down. And the challenges for my parents especially is to see their own son losing a sight and yet don't need their help. Even for me, I feel it's a lot of people very easily give up and they will drop what they want to go. But the disabled body, no. They will go all the way to achieve it. They will never give up. You can see the endurance is very good and uh, they have a fighting spirit. This is uh, able bodies to learn from them. When I went to the NRCC, I was able to get out of it. 因为那边有十个 staircase， then 我需要人家来扛我下去。then 那时候我第一次我还记得就是，嗯，我们有好像三个 wheelchair 需要人家扛。可是第一个下去的时候就差一点 accidentally 跌下去摇了。然后那时候我也觉得有点怕，我跟我教练讲说我不要下去摇，我人不舒服。然后最后他在讲说你放心，有我在，我不会让你有任何的那个受伤的。最重要是，我的女儿很 support 我。我第一个球也是她买给我的。连有时候，她还会用激将法来跟我讲说的：“你拿不到这个牌的话，你就不要回来找我了。”所以，我出去有时候出国比赛的时候，我是被恐吓的。Those two, I I actually have a name for them. Uh, they are my little monster. With them around in my life, I always look forward to go back home as early as possible because I know that when I reach home, there's always two little monsters waiting for me at the door. For my family members, definitely my mom. Because my mom, she's always been there for me ever since young, and she always tell me to believe in uh, whatever I want to do and do it fully and not half-heartedly and be true to myself. She always reminds me that always be true to yourself. Everybody can do everything, if whether you want to do it or not. When you first have a disability, you always think that I cannot do this, I cannot do that. Gradually, you realize that you can do as much in just different way. 不要看不起自己了，人的潜在力是很大的，只是你没有被是被人发现，或者你自己没有发现到而已。Maybe 有时候要有很正确的那个担在那边了，人家会早晚会发现你的。希望是在明天的，这可能是，假如东西发生在你身上之后了，不要觉得是绝望，你就把它当做是希望就好了。Don't give up. I, it's not easy. I've gone through more than 20 years of my life. I would say you see more discouragement when you are in this situation. You face people who always want to say, you cannot see, why do you? When you got to the other side of things, you know that if you can do it, if my the other friend can do it, why can't I? For me, I always keep this together with me and the quote that I always uh, tell myself whenever I face difficulties or whenever I'm struggling, I always take a deep breath and I always tell myself perseverance to excel. Because for us para-athletes, we need to do additional things, we need to work harder, we need to give more effort to, to achieve a certain level. So for me, perseverance is very crucial. 
so that you can excel. The fears we don't face become our limits. So know your limits, but never stop trying to break them.